So today I am going to explain the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 292. I found this problem more interesting than the fourth problem of the contest. Uh, this problem is quite also easy uh, problem, uh, dynamic programming problem. So the problem is count number of digits. So we are given uh, an array uh, like a string of digits, and uh, you can see the this is a phone screen the like keypads uh, phones we used to use. Uh, like there here two can represent A B C or three can represent D E F. So if we press two two times, it will uh, like the B will be displayed in the screen. So you can read the problem statement and um, there is nothing special in the problem statement or nothing tricky. So we have to find the number of different strings formed by pressing these keys like for 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So if we press 2 one time, it could give us A and then 2 again, it could give us A and um, there are possibilities like A, 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 D, D if every character is pressed by one time. And if we press 2, 2 times, it will give us B and uh, then 2 one time, it will give us so it will be BC and BCDD could be also a possibility. Uh, yeah, no, BADD is also a possibility. So you can check the possibilities. We have to count the number of possibilities. Uh, and uh, for this, uh, you can observe is that for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 8, there are 3 characters. Uh, so we can press 2 ma at max 3 times, but for 7 and 9, we can press them at max 4 times. Okay. So these are the three uh, two things you have to check. You don't have to remember what are the characters for every letter uh, for every digit. You just have to remember like just have to check what is the maximum number of times you can press the key. So for two, two, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, the maximum number of presses is three, and for seven and nine, the maximum number of presses is four. So uh, let's say what we can do. So I will show you my code now. So before uh, showing you my code, uh, I will try to explain you one more thing. Let's say our character is 2227777 and 33. So let's say what we are doing. So we are currently at index, first index. So our current index is first index. So recursion of i. So what we can do? We can take this thing and move to the second index. So it could be like rec of i plus 1. And from i i plus one we are starting this. So so let me take take two variables. Okay. So let me take two variables. First one is uh, first one is i, which is pointing to the current index we are at, and the second index is let's say j, which are pointing to the start index of our current press. Okay. Let's say we are at this two. Okay. So let's say our i is at this two. Our j could be at these two then our character would be like if we press two th uh, three times we will get c okay and let's say our i is at this place and j is at this place so we are pressing seven for four times so it could be uh, pressing seven uh, four times could give us i think yes okay so we are taking two variables i comma j so for from i comma j we can move to what we can move to i plus one comma j or we can move to what we can move to i plus one comma i plus one okay so we are starting from i plus one so this operation is on all only possible when our uh, current index i is equals to equals to our next index i plus one so s of i uh, if our string is i uh, s and uh, s of i is equals to equals to s uh, of i plus one and uh, j minus i so i minus j obviously i plus one minus j Let's say uh, there is four, uh, four uh, like five sevens here. So five sevens here. Then uh, we can't take i to this and j to this because the number of presses is five. But for seven, the maximum number of presses allowed is four. So our i plus one minus j should be less than equals to maximum press of the current key. So maximum press of the current key. Okay. So these are the two conditions. For the first uh, like uh, transition, which is, is SI equals to equals to SI plus one. So first uh, our current character and the next character is same. And the second thing is that I plus one minus J. So the number of presses from J to I plus one is less than equal to our maximum number of presses for the current character. Okay. So these two things you have to keep in mind. So and uh, now the thing to observe is that 
the value of i is uh, given to us what the value of i is given to us is 10 to the power 5 so uh, i is 10 to the power 5 and j is also index so j is 10 to the power 5 so this will give us theory but you can check is that what is the difference between j minus i the difference between j minus i could be at max 4 because the maximum number of places allowed is 4 so if we take i and the difference between j minus i as a parameter the the value of i would be 10 to the power 5 and j minus would be at max 4 so we can do it in 4 into 10 to the power 5 so we are taking two variables one is i and second is the length of the current press okay so let me show you my code now so here uh, what i am doing is that the, uh, my first variable is i and the second variable is div div is nothing but j minus i or the length of the current press so now uh, uh, our max is 3 and uh, if the current character like current character is 7 or 9 you can check on for only 7 and 9 the number of maximum number of places is 8, eight 4 okay uh, our maximum value is default value of max is 3 and uh, if it is 7 or 9 our maximum is 4 so we are doing a rake of i plus 1 comma 1 i have already explained that we can uh, this this thing rake of i plus 1 comma 1 is nothing but this uh, i plus 1 comma i plus 1 if we take difference it will be i plus 1 comma 1 and if i if the current index is i uh, greater than 0 and d plus 1 less than equals to max i have already explained that and our current character is same as the previous character we are doing answer plus re recursion of next index and we are uh, increasing our uh, value of the press like uh, like for this uh, we are at this index so we are incrementing the value of i and j j will stay at here okay and at the end we are returning the answer this is also quite trivial problem if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment section please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you